Hi there, namaste. Welcome to Yoga with Naveen. My name is Naveen Sharma and in this video we will be practicing power yoga which if you keep practicing on a regular basis which means two to three times a week you will be able to see improved strength, stamina and flexibility. Apart from this, if you want to deepen your practice with me you can also join me on my live interactive classes which I teach on Zoom and for more details on that, you can log on to yogawithnaveen.com. For your ease, I will also be leaving the link in the description below. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend you consider subscribing because I keep doing these videos on a weekly basis. Also hit the bell icon button so that you can continue to get the notifications for all the videos that I'll bring in future. Now without further ado, let's begin with centering. I'm right now seated in Vajrasana if this is comfortable. Sit in this or else you can sit in Sukhasana or cross-legged position. Let us bring hands in Chin Mudra, palms facing up, roll the shoulders back, keeping your back straight, gently closing your eyes. Become aware of your breath. Consciously increasing the length of your inhale and exhale. Let's repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. Every breath I take is a gift of life. On that positive note, let us bring palms together at the heart space and invoke the energies with three Omkar chant. We'll do it together. Inhale. Gently starting to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Now bring your palms to your face, energizing yourself, looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, so let's begin now. The first movement that we are doing right now is going to be a wrist rotation in tabletop position. So let's quickly look at how exactly you will do it. You will get yourself into the tabletop position like this and then reversing one of the palms. So you will reverse right palm and keep the one hand like this. I'm just showing you from here, then I'll move. From here, then you will start to move from one side and keep making circles like this, right? And like this, first we will do five rounds from the right and then from the left. So let's turn yourself to the side now, getting yourself on the mat properly in the tabletop position. Turning your left palm facing towards your left knee and your right hand is facing to the front. Now from here, we'll start from the right, making circles, move to the right side, moving forward, coming to the left, pulling back. Let's keep going. Two, breathing in, breathing out, moving back. Three, keep going at your own pace. Four, and five. Wonderful. You can relax now. Chain the side. Left hand fingers facing to the front. Right hand fingers facing to the right knee. We'll start this time from left side. So let's begin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Three. Four. And five. Wonderful. You can just relax your right hand as well. And if you want to shake your hands just for once, you can do that as well. This is for our wrist preparation. Now we'll go ahead and do a shoulder rotation from here itself in the tabletop position. This will feel differently. What you will be doing is you will taking it, you'll be taking your hand forward and then you will start to lift it up higher, taking it slowly behind 
bringing it down, touching the fingers to the ground, and then again bringing it back to the same position. Right, like this, we'll do five rounds from the right and then five from the left. Let's begin together. Inhale, raising your right arm up. Halfway through, start to exhale, and then bring your hand down, touching the fingertips to the mat, and then slowly bring it back. Perfect, keep going. Two. Three, we'll try and do it slow. Four. Five. Wonderful. Let's go ahead now with the left hand. Inhale, gently raising your left hand up. Taking it behind, touching the fingers to the ground, and then bringing it back. Two. Three. Four. Last round. Awesome, that was for shoulder. Quickly, let's go ahead for cat and cow, and then we'll get started with our power yoga sequence. Inhale, arching your back and gently looking up. Exhale, rounding your back. Let's keep going. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Three. Four. Five. And relax. Perfect. So here we are done with the warm up part. Now we will be going ahead for a full power yoga sequence which has micro sequences in it. We'll do all of them for five, five rounds and then we will complete it. Let's quickly get started. Quickly get yourself onto the tabletop position. We'll move slowly uh, for the first micro sequence in the first round. Get yourself here in the tabletop position and push back into the downward facing dog. You can definitely have your knees slightly bent or press the heels down if you feel comfortable. Inhale here first. With the exhale, take the right leg forward, left leg forward, both the feet a little bit apart. Bend your knees, push your hip back. The first thing that we are doing is Utkatasan, chair position. So raise your hands up higher and look forward, inhale. With exhale now, we will straighten the legs as much as the body allow and then trying to take the palms down to the ground. You can also be on your fingertips and you can choose to keep your knees slightly bent, right? This was an exhale. Now palms on the shins, inhale, look forward. Exhale. Getting yourself back and then either you will take your knees down and then go halfway or you will go halfway without keeping your knees down. This is Chaturanga Dandasana coming here. Then from there, taking your toes out. Either you will keep your thighs on the ground and then elbow fully straight, looking up or keeping your elbow, thighs off the mat and then trying to look up. And then exhale, getting yourself back into the downward facing dog. So that is the first round of your first micro sequence. Let's go for it for four more rounds together. Taking the legs forward, bending your knees, inhale, raise your hands up higher, look up, exhale, press your palms down with me, inhale, palms on the shin, look forward, straighten the back, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, either with the knees down or with knees up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So this was our third, sorry, second round. Let's move ahead for the third one now. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale, gently look up. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, palms on the shin, look forward. 
exhale, getting yourself into Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving for fourth round. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, gently look forward. Exhale, knees either down or up. We are going halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last round. Moving forward again. Inhale, Utkatasan. Exhale, Uttanasan. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasan. Exhale, moving back, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then, gently, you will take your knees down. This was our first micro sequence of the entire power yoga. Let's quickly look at the second one, which is a variation of Santulan Asan. This is how you will do it. You will get yourself into proper Santulan Asana, wrist in line with the shoulders, toe in line with your heels. From here, you will inhale. With exhale, you will try and take the right knee to the right elbow. It's absolutely fine if it's slightly away, but give it a try to join. And then with inhale, you will bring it back. This we will be doing for five rounds. To scale it down, do it with the knees down. Inhale here, exhale up, inhale, exhale. Right? Let's begin together. Getting yourself into the Santulanasana, inhale, exhale, right knee to the right elbow, inhale back. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow, inhale, back. Second round, right. Inhale back, left. Inhale back, keep moving. Three. It's important we move slow. Four. Five. Wonderful, gently taking your knees down. Shake your hands, raising the tension from your hands. We're done with the second micro sequence, of, micro sequence of our entire power yoga. Moving on to the third one now. Again, we will do it together. The first round will go slightly slower. Inhale, exhale with me, pushing back into the downward facing dog. And now moving your feet, right foot outside of your right palm, left foot outside of your left palm, and then Try to bring your hip almost in line with your knee. Make sure you're getting your hip here. You can be on your fingertips initially, toes can be slightly out. Then, if you feel comfortable, raise your hand, otherwise continue to take the support. So this is your first asana here, Ardha Malasan. Inhale, and then exhale, straighten the legs, turn the toes in, keep your heels out, drive the hips back with me, and then leaning forward down, take the palms down, and then top of your head towards the ground. You don't have to touch it, just keep it facing down. This was exhale, Prasarit Paduttanasan. Again, turning your toes slightly out, inhale, Ardhamalasan. And then exhale, getting yourself back into downward facing dog. So this is your first round. Let's go ahead now for the second one. Inhale here. Exhale, right foot outside of your right palm. Left foot outside of your left. Get your hip almost in line with your knee. Either hands down or up. Inhale. Exhale, feet a little bit out. Leaning forward down. Inhale again. Ardha Malasan. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Moving for third round. Both the feet forward out. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten the leg, leaning forward down. Inhale. 
Exhale. Fourth round. Moving forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last round to go. Move the feet out. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Gently getting your knees down. We're done with three micro sequences. Three more to go. Now the next one again. We'll be focusing on our upper body strength and core strength. So whatever we did last time, knee to elbow, it's pretty similar to that. But this time, you will take your knee closer to the forehead and then taking it back. For a scale-up version, you will keep the knee up and then exhale, inhale. Got it? Let's move ahead together now. Inhale here. Exhale. Right knee forward. Inhale. Back. Exhale, left, inhale, back, two, inhale, three, we'll start now, three, right, left, right, and left, one last round, right, and left. Awesome. Gently taking your knees down. Once again, you want to shake your hands. You can. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale it out. Moving on to our next micro sequence. Let's again do the first round slightly slower. Inhale here. Into the tabletop. Exhale, moving back into the downward facing dog. Then from there, Keeping your right leg forward, back sole down, getting yourself in this position first with me. Inhale, making sure that the right knee is in line with the ankle, back foot is down. Keep your hands in line with your shoulders, you're looking forward to your right palm. Warrior two, inhale here. And then exhale, straightening the right leg, trying to slide your right palm down. And if you feel comfortable, you can even look up. Once again, inhale, get yourself into warrior two. And then exhale, moving back into the downward facing dog. Left leg, take it forward, back foot down. With inhale, let's take the hands up. With exhale, sliding down, trikonasana. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go for the second round. Right foot forward. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, trikona. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, downward facing dog. Changing the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right again forward. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, left, Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, 
breathe out one last round right forward breathe in exhale inhale exhale moving back left leg inhale exhale inhale up exhale back wonderful gently coming down this was our fifth micro sequence let's move ahead for the last one which is going to be the killer all right so the same movement of the plank position but this time we'll make it even more challenging so this time you will try and take your knee to the opposite elbow and then you bring it back for a scalar version from here you will take it to the opposite elbow and then back it's absolutely fine to scale it down or if the elbow is not touching to your knee all right let's go for five rounds together inhale exhale right knee to the left elbow inhale back exhale left knee to the right inhale back two Slow and steady. Three. Four. Last one. All right. And then taking your knees down. Shake your hands. With this. we have completed our entire power yoga sequence now time to just relax your breath and heart rate so all you got to do is to open the knees wide walk forward on your hands and staying here for five breaths 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 Four, five. Gently lifting your head up, slowly taking your hands back, and then let us stretch our legs forward. Time to cooling down your body with our two asanas. Let's lie down on your back. We're going ahead for Setu Bandh Asan. Plant your feet on the ground, squeeze the glutes, and raise it as high as possible. Try to bring your chest closer to the chin, lifting the hip higher, squeezing the glutes, palms down. Let's stay here for five breaths. One, two. Three, four, five. Gently bringing your hip lower. Relax your shoulders. Let's now go ahead for our last asana, which is going to be a twist. So hugging your knees towards you, and then. taking your both the knees down to the right side maintaining the left to the left breathing in and out 1 two, 2 3 4 5 gently bringing your knees back changing the side both the knees will go to the left and you will look to the right 1 two, 2 3 4 5 gently bringing your legs back and now keeping your legs down i'm sure your body is quite relaxed now 
and ready to go for our Shavasana practice. I need you to open your legs and stretch them forward. Just look forward to the center of your feet and allow the toes to fall down. Settle down your low back and then slowly bring the head back in the same line of your spine. Hands a little bit away from your body, armpits free, eyes closed. We'll deepen the relaxation of our body with the help of Murkar chant. Let us go ahead for five Murkar chant together. Inhale. can stop humming, starting to observe the changes within the body and mind. Bring your attention to the abdominal wall. Observe the wall moving up and down with each inhale and exhale. And now your body and mind are completely relaxed. Gently starting to come back to your body consciousness. Sensitize your toes, your palms. Bringing your legs closer. Fold your legs. Gently taking a turn to one of the sides. Take the hand for your head support. And now gently with your hand support, coming back and sitting in a comfortable position with your back straight. Let us settle down all the energies of our today's practice with one omkar followed by three shantis. Bring palms to your heart space, inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently starting to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face, spread the warmth to your face, energizing yourself. And now looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend, we are at the end of our today's session. Do let me know in the comment section, how did you find this session? And it'll be a great help if you could share this video with your known people who might be interested in power yoga and want to improve their strength, stamina, and flexibility. I'll see you in my next session. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.